All right, so um, we want to take a look at this um, <clears throat> story here. Um, the the, the works. Yes, please. Mm -hmm. um, the management of City TV and City FM yeah. um, began uh, as a number of projects um, to build resettlement centers um, across the lower Volta. And um, we've started handing over the various projects. Uh, Topo a week ago was handed over, and yesterday uh, we also handed over one resettlement center to um, residents of Ada. Let's take a look at this, and we'll come back and then I'll, I'll take my guest's take on what we just take a look at. All planted, Apollo's watered, and God gave the increase. Mm -hmm. So DC dug. City collected, but God is the one who built. Yes. So we are putting. This is the first effort to show that the work will happen, yes. and we will build the house because God is with us. Amen. And in a month's time, we will finish and house the people. Amen. And when the new buildings are finished and the poor are resettled, Amen. the building will be converted to another use. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So So we are here in the Ada East District. A little over three months since we first came to Ada to report of the effect of flooding on residents, particularly in the island communities in Ada East. After those series of reports, we found there were many displaced people whose houses had been destroyed, livelihoods lost. Through the support of city viewers and listeners and the donors, we've put up this facility to house up to 200 people it's really eight dormitories to house them temporarily as a permanent solution is sought. But it really, when they eventually move from here, this facility would become a skills training center, which in partnership with the assembly would give particularly the women some marketable skills. So it's like a two-in-one, rehouse people and also train people eventually when the dust settles. So we're going to go into the ceremony shortly to officially commission city foundations rehousing resettlement facility here at Ada East. Uh, <laughs> Yo, Nene Chairman, um, the Mankralo of the Ada traditional area Nene Agude Obitre III. Our distinguished district chief executive, Madam Sarah Dubaki Kobi, assembly members and members of the DISEC, our other traditional rulers identified here. Our CEO of City FM City TV Samalata Mensa, our distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is a real joy to be here this afternoon. What began as the natural response of a media house to a disaster in the form of sending a journalist to tell a story has grown to become a big edifice that we'll be commissioning in the next few minutes. And for that, we give all the glory to God. All right, so there you have it. Um, let me just quickly take your uh, thoughts on... Um, the first of all this project and the series of projects that we are doing and then also the importance of you know n members of the nation as it were um getting involved in supporting what uh, is happening around the country just thoughts from you first. yes um david um god bless um city fm city tv thank god for public spirited organizations like this organization that has um, risen to the call to duty to help the people in the lower Volta Basin area who were displaced by the Akosumbo um, spillage induced flooding in that area. I am an avid listener of CTFM. I don't okay. miss the morning show. Okay. And I have followed um, every mm -hmm. activity 
that this station has undertaken since that um, unfortunate spillage. Mm. And I want to commend you highly and to thank God for an organization like this because without CTFM, without organizations like CTFM, without the members of parliament in those areas, the people in that enclave would have been in very serious trouble mm. because government clearly showed in the height of that disaster that it cared little about the, the welfare of the people, apart from the disparaging remarks of the president when he visited. The only noticeable intervention by government was the vice president going to donate 160,000 cities. When there was flooding in Sierra Leone, we saw this very government donate $1 million to the people of Sierra Leone. When our own people were in distress, the government could only donate 160,000. This is the second of Please wrap it up for me. this is the second of resettlement um, homes that CTFM yeah. has championed yeah. in conjunction with various corporate organizations. And I want to salute all your donors. I want to salute the management of this station, Bernard Kokuavle. I want to salute your chief executive officer, uh, Mr. Atamensa, and all your workers and all your stakeholders who made thank, this a reality. Thank, thank you, yeah. thank you. Uh, Mr. Thompson, final thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Final Briefly, I'll let my brother know that he should do his homework well. The 160 was not a government donation. It was a personal donation from Dr. Alaji Mahmoud Baumia. <laughs> so he cannot name it as a government thing. He went there, he saw the plight of the people, and he decided that, listen, my salary I've got, what I have saved so far, I'm giving it to them to support their need. Government is working on over 200 million Ghana cities for the rehabilitation and resettlement of the people, going back to the community. Okay. They are working on the education, they are working on the health facilities that got sunk. They are mm. re-putting it into the next um, proper shape. I would say that City, um, City TV or City Group has done very well. Um, kudos to Samens, to um, Avle Bernard, to yourself, to the team who supported in doing this. If every Ghanaian everywhere decides that they are going to all support when there are disasters and see it as a national thing and not as putting it in a myopic situation that happened and the president responded and they are calling it that the president was being mm -hmm. political, like we would all move ahead. One thing that is worrying this country a lot is the partisanship we put in everything. If that should change, I believe that we can work together and we can forge ahead as a nation. All right. So I'll say kudos to you. You've done a very good job, and I'll encourage everyone to proceed. I think there's a second amongst it's about second four or so yeah. that yeah, you are putting up. Them. Yes, yeah. a number of them that mm. you are putting up. And it's, it's a good thought, and God bless you for that. Fantastic. Well, I want to say God bless you to both of you uh, for coming on um, Breakfast Daily this morning. Thank you very much for your thoughts, Thompson. and um, much appreciated. My guest this morning have been Alfred Thompson. He's a member of the MPP National Communications Team, and Masawudu Mahama. He's a member of the NDC National Communications Team. Mahama is first. And, um,